Mark is super stressed. You're getting awful skinny on me. Look at that, it's like instant. Hi. Not on my own, that's a lie. So this is the critical period. Say goodbye kids. That would break me. Good morning, you guys. We just finished hoof trimming. Well, we didn't finish, but we're pretty close. I think I'm left with only about 20 to do tomorrow, which is great. Yeah, I felt pretty good. So I said to Krista, we'll just go until they stop coming in and then we'll quit. <laughs> and they just kept coming. So I'm like, all right, well, I was thinking I'd only be able to do about 30, but feeling pretty good. So I don't know, maybe I'm healing. Ask me tonight at eight o'clock when I can't walk. <laughs> anyway, so that's a good job to get done. We will definitely be done tomorrow morning in good time. And then perhaps if Chris is feeling up for it, we can also lice treat. They are due for their second one on Friday, which is tomorrow. So we'll see how we're feeling. If she's not feeling it, then maybe I'll just do it on the weekend or next week sometime. I am on my own next week because Carissa is heading off to Nashville for a week. So she's very pumped for that. She's going with her sister, her boyfriend, her sister, her sister's boyfriend, her mom, her cousin, her aunt. I think that's it. There's a, there's a big crew of them going. So uh, she's been looking forward to this all year. Yeah, I'm really happy for her. And uh, I thought I'd better get these jobs that I need her to help me um, while I still have her. And also next week, I think Mark really is itching to get at the corn. Um, we're done soybeans and wheat, but he was having some storage issues. So I think he's just been working at trying to get some of these soybeans shipped out so we would have room for our corn. It's a good problem to have, but it's, it does weigh, I think, on him quite a bit because he's really wanting to start corn. Oh, here's Mark right now. Hi, this is talking about you for the vlog. How awesome I am. <laughs> How humble you are. Oh, not very humble. What's up? You need me? No, this is good chat. Turn off the camera, Sandy. <laughs> Mark is super stressed. A lot of our ports are getting full, like people that receive soybeans, because just Ontario's had some pretty record yields, I think. So uh, they're waiting on boats to come in to pick up these uh, contracted loads. So I think he said he might just put the rest on wagons and take, take them to town, because he said just everybody's full. We need the room for the corn. So he's, he's a bit stressed, so he wanted to have a little chat. He wanted to talk it out, which is great. Communication is good. It's taken us 26 years, but I think we've got it pretty, pretty figured out now. Ladies, how are we? Still loving your pen and your clean sheets? How are you doing, Ruby Sue? Mm -hmm. You're getting awful skinny on me. Mm -hmm. Hi. 
That's my girl. That's my girl. You still got bright ears. That's good. So, we haven't talked, really, about this too much, because I've sort of avoided it, because I didn't want to really admit to myself that Ruby Sue's getting awfully skinny, considering the size of every other golden girl in this pen, and the size she was when she came over. Uh, we've been keeping an eye on her. It's been gradual. It hasn't been overnight. Um, she's always eating. She was just in here eating hay. You can tell it's on her head. This is the same thing that happened to Ruthie. She ate until her final hours and Ruby as well. Now Ruby got also sick at the end. I think she had, she had an infection in her foot maybe or some arthritis or something. Um, Cause I was treating her at the end, but her body condition to me looks like matey and it tracks because it seems to be getting passed on the uh, female side of Ruthie's family. I'm just really sad because Ruby Sue is my last one in that family tree. Rusty is still good. Rusty is still at River Road at my friend Nikki and Dave's and he is still doing good. So is it passed on the female side maybe a little more? Maybe they're under a little more stress because they lay them? I don't know, but I'm really sad. Uh, it doesn't seem to be affecting the rest of the Golden Girls. It's definitely just her. So we'll keep an eye on her. There's no treatment for Mady, unfortunately. It's just a sort of a wasting disease. They just sort of get skinny. And uh, one day you'll just come in and they won't be eating. And to me, she's not in any pain. Uh, if that was the case, this would be a different conversation, but uh, she seems okay. How are you, Billy's mom? You still got some arthritis flaring up there, I notice. Mm -hmm. Her front joint just is notoriously got some swelling. Mm -hmm. Doesn't slow you down. You're still the queen. Mm -hmm. You're still in charge, aren't you? Oh. <laughs> and then there's Marge. So that's your Golden Girls update. Any dips? <laughs> so I actually came over here to A, check Ruby Sue, but also to check my newly weaned lambs. I did come over yesterday afternoon and they seem pretty good for just being weaned, but I can hear them this morning. <laughs> shame. The feeders are not quite set up yet. They are, there was way too much feed for me to be able to ma manipulate the feeders, so I'm just going to wait for, the, for them to sort of drain it out of it. Not empty, you never want it to go empty, but enough that I can move it, and then we'll hook back up the, uh, these guys, the spouts, and then we can get the feeders going again here. What are you looking at? The little redhead. They're so cute. A couple observations. I just heard the spigot going in the water bowl, which is amazing. And the other thing is they've got that back feeder almost empty and it was three quarters full yesterday. So they got the back feeder figured out the front one. They were like, mm, things are looking good for day two of weaning. I can't believe I heard the water. It's almost better when they pile on the drinker because they fight and then that's how they find it because they just accidentally knock it. I do apologize because I was editing my video, my last vlog this morning, and I 
I really don't realize how bad the lighting is in this room. We still don't have power in here, so it's very grainy. Anyway, uh, when I have a chance here and there, I've been sneaking in here to get some of these products uh, counted for my inventory for the winter launch. I have four different designs this year. Everybody's really wanted the original Sheepishly Me uh, hoodies. Uh, so we did them, but we did them a little different. I did a, a zip hoodie for those that want zips. And then I did sort of a matching one that's not a zip. So they're both black because I just went with basic black. This go around and then we will get into different styles and designs maybe in the new year when I have my feet under me and maybe if we've moved to where we're supposed to be. Right now everything's sort of in limbo. I ordered this stuff months ago thinking that I would be where I'm supposed to be and we're still not there. So uh, we're just sort of making do. Um, so yeah, these are the ones I ended up just putting the little logo in the, in the top, on the top left chest instead of the big one on the front, but it's still got the, uh, the sheepishly me on the back. So it's like that on the back. And then a smaller logo on the front. And partly that was to match the zip hoodies. So I decided to go with the same print, but just one is a zip and one is plain. And then we have two other designs. I'll show you once we get to those boxes. I had one earlier, but I think I already packed them up. I pulled a Jess this week. What? What does that mean? <laughs> Meaning I went online and bought something talking, for myself. Are you saying I'm a shopaholic? Uh, you like to shop, I noticed. So I saw a pair of shoes. They showed up on my Instagram. I've been looking at this brand, brand and this wow. style for a long time, probably mm -hmm. a good chunk of the year. So we have some Adidas. You want my coupon? No, I don't. Try not to be a shopaholic. All right, all right. I'm very excited. Ooh. They look different than what I thought they would. Aren't they gorge? Green sambas, and they have a thicker sole than yeah, they have yours. Like gum That's why I like them. Oh yeah, perfect. They're not too big. Uh, like if you were wearing normal socks, would they be? I don't. I'd rather. Mm. They're just a wide shoe, and I have sort of a narrow foot. They are really pretty. I'm very excited. Can I try them on? Yeah. Hi. It's like Groundhog Day. Every day we Yay. start the day like this. I know. Last day. What bars are you going to go to in Nashville? <laughs> you don't know yet? You don't have any on the wish list? Is there any big singers there this next week? Shut up. Saturday, like when we leave. So I'm like Friday night down there is going to be packed. Jess said Holly was going next weekend. Oh, really? I think her roommate Solana is going to come for Thanksgiving on Monday. Oh yeah? Yeah. Let me get used to this. Piper? You're pregnant. Not on my own. That's a lie. I have my x-ray today. Oh! And you are, you are if they wouldn't have done it if there were. Oh. I bet. Good morning, everyone. We just finished hoof trimming our big group, so hoof trimming is done. So now we're gonna lice treat since they're all here. All right, I did get Carissa a new applicator, so this should be just slick. That's what we're doing in the syringe, too. Yeah. Look at that, it's like instant. Beauty. And I'll run the door and you can just tell me when to stop. 
That's so much faster. Have someone to look forward to in a group? Yeah, I know. I'm glad we have. Like we always, we have some, in, I think, in every group. Yeah. Good morning. Hello, Ruby Sue. How's my girl? Guys, leave her be. Hi, honey. Oh, you can tell how skinny she is here, eh? Whoa. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Hello, dips. <laughs> Tomatoes. Nice walking into this barn two days post wean and having it this quiet. Like, it's quiet. This feeder, this back feeder, was like a quarter full yesterday, so I'm hoping it's empty enough that I can maybe move it. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Uh, not quite. That side's getting down. One more day? One more day and I can move it. I don't think I can move it right now. Battery's dying. Say goodbye, kids. Just finished helping Mark fill up some wagons to go to town. We're trying to get this guy emptied out. It's got like a truck and maybe two more wagons left full of beans and we're trying to get it empty because he really wants to start corn as early as today. I have to say being married to him as long as I have been has its perks because I had a feeling I needed to get my sheep stuff done because I knew he was itching to get out to the fields. I think it's supposed to start raining like Sunday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and I know he wants to know what the corn's doing. It is official. We are just about to start our first day of corn harvest 2024. So today is October hmm, 11th, I think. And uh, I don't know. We'll see what the weather does, but this is pretty early for us. We're counting our blessings. We're going to take every good day we got. just nosed in to our uh, first cornfield here. Uh, we typically try to get this field off when it's good conditions outside, so dry. This is our wettest farm and when the weather decides to sh shift, which it will eventually, we do not like being left with this particular field. Just it's really, really uh, hard to get stuff off. Nice to get this off on a 20 degree October day. Jess is helping us out right there. Uh, she has uh, no classes on Friday, which works out really, really good uh, in harvest season if she doesn't have homework. We don't like to push her too much, uh, but if she's willing and able, which she typically is by a Friday, she's uh, she likes school, but I think this being her last year, she's, she's sort of ready to be done. And uh, her school, unfortunately, her school years haven't been what they probably could have or should have been, but yeah, she's sort of ready to be, be done. So, it is nice having her around. Looks like she's taking some footage as well. I think she's doing a vlog this weekend, and I think her friend Solana, her roommate, is coming 
on Sunday, so she's really hoping the rain holds off so she can get out in the fields with us. She's taking agriculture science as well, but she doesn't come from a farm, so I think she'd really, really enjoy this side of our business. Good morning. It is Saturday of our Canadian Thanksgiving weekend. Happy Thanksgiving for all our fellow Canucks out there. There's really no better way to spend it than with our family. It doesn't matter really what we're doing. Most of the time for Thanksgiving, because our Thanksgiving is in October, we are working. Most of the time we're doing soybeans. So this is really odd this year. We are a bit early. Uh, we're doing corn and usually we're lucky to be at corn you know mid to late october so um yeah we're pretty lucky i guess just as a visitor in her tractor I brought in a reinforcement to help me move this feeder that was almost empty yesterday. So hopefully it's empty enough that we can do the honors. And then I have to tape up a few downspouts because those are too full to move. I need Jess's back. Hi. I should get a pail. I mean, I can pail it. Oh, that's pretty cool. empty. All right, so. You want to go on that corner? I'll go on this corner, okay. and we'll go we'll go counterclockwise. Okay. I probably could have done it. Sorry. No. Okay. And it's my, easy. I think sure. I gotta go my way a little bit. <laughs> That wasn't even close before. So it needs to go back your way more. I might have put it on first and then put it in the hole. Uh, and then you sort of shove it in here and let the feeder lock it. That's what he said. There. <laughs> It'll fill. That's all we need. It'll fill. Well, I forgot my drill across the road, so I'm just going to tape it and hope that that works. Hi, Dips. You're always the first one to say hi. Hi, Ruby Sue. How are you doing? Hi, girl. Come here. Oh, you look good. You look happy. You look like your mom. What are you saying? You liking this weather? It's beauty. Why are you guys not outside? Well, that's a size difference right there. Margie, when you stand beside her, then she looks really bad. Oh, my goodness. 
Mark doesn't need me now for the rest of the day. We finished that cornfield. He's working away at other field stuff while the weather's good. I think Jack is coming home today and Jess is already home as you guys saw. And he wondered if we could do like a Thanksgiving barbecue back at the cabin tonight. So I think Jess and I are gonna run into town and grab some steaks and then uh, spend the rest of the day sort of getting caught up on, you know, life. Good morning, it is Sunday, it's chilly. Like, it feels like it could snow. We finally caved and turned on our furnace this week. And now the house is like so cozy and it's really, really hard to get out. Anyways, we've been lucky. The last few days have been really, really nice. Today is chores. It's my first day of like seven days in a row of chores. I wonder if Mark knows he left the generator on last night. Hmm. So much nicer having some of the lambs already moved over. There's just a lot less creep needed. So we got this feeder and one feeder in the back. There's a lot less lambs in the back group. So I doubt it needs filled, but I'll go check it. Uh, but it's nice having these guys gone because they were really pounding on the creep. Hello, mamas. Are we any happier? It's been a few days since weaning and they seem okay. Probably just missing the grain, not so much their babies. They get over weaning day pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. We are officially on Preg Talks watch. Say that 10 times fast. I can't even say it once. We are now rounding into our six week pre-lamb. So this is the critical period. It starts right now. Typically in the past, we have switched them to a close-up ration. So like a late gestation ration at about four weeks pre-lamb. We're gonna switch them starting this week, either tomorrow or Tuesday. Uh, we'll start with that ration. Uh, it's already ready. I've already got it on the sheet. I just have to actually put their numbers to it to populate the spreadsheet. But we are ready to go. What I need to look for is this. Like I don't want any use backed off the bunk. And the other thing we're looking for is cleanup time. So the bunks were absolutely licked clean this morning. That's a good sign. Uh, once you start seeing little trickles of feed remaining, then you know we have to start making the feed a little more dense. So we're packing more nutrients into less feed, if that makes sense. And that's so it will all fit in their little bodies when they're full of lambs, because that tends to be what's happening in our situation. So this is what saved me in the last lambing, but I started it too late and that is like this, is just like watching them and seeing if anyone's gone up to eat for like three minutes and then they back off right away. That's a usually a good sign that their ketones are starting to spike. Good morning. How are you doing, Ruby Sue? Hey, sweetie. Marge. Lily's mom. Tomatoes. That's 
like that. Hey. Hey, baby. Hey, you making out? Mm hmm? Just my morning checkup with Miss Ruby Sue. And really, just no changes. So, I'm hoping we got lots more time with you. You're not gonna leave me like your mom. I can't lose you both in the same year. That would break me. I saw her yesterday when we were doing corn. I did see her outside, so. She's hanging out, she's doing her things. She's acting like a sheep, like the rest of them. And that's all you can really ask for when they start to lose condition like this. <laughs> Billy's mom is never quite sure what to think of me. They tolerate me, that's about it. There's the sound of silence right there. <laughs>